Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you today's video from my home office in Jerusalem. Uh, very, very pleased to uh, wake up today to see I've crossed over the 800 subscriber mark here on uh, YouTube. 200 to go until 1000. Uh, never expected to even get this far to be honest, although I've been putting out these videos for a little while. Uh, thank you for anyone who has uh, subscribed to the channel to date and stuck with it. I know the subject matter is super varied. I mentioned before that I tend to that I intend in the future to break down into more uh, niche channels or more thematic channels. But right now I'm just having great fun learning a lot about video production, um, meeting interesting new people, interviewing interesting new people, and uh, bringing my camera out with me to interesting uh, places. So speaking about interesting things and interesting people, I got a mention on Twitter today from a, a very good friend of mine, a guy called Peter Duffy uh, from back in Ireland, uh, in the motherland. And uh, Duffy is um, a very, very astute follower of technology. He puts out a terrific monthly newsletter called How Curious. And it's kind of an interesting synopsis usually of tech Duffy has seen, a podcast he's been listening to. He's an avid podcast listener. And he's also a big nonfiction reader. So he's very much a guy sort of aligned uh, was my interest, but he's uh, he he knows that I'm really interested in artificial intelligence and this whole world of deepfakes because I may or may not once have published a book under a uh, fake name, and that was really my kind of um, eye-opening experience for me into the worlds of deep, you know, fake faces, fake videos, and how quickly artificial intelligence is advancing. I've also written a couple of articles. I'll put a link maybe to one of, one of the ones I've written on Medium. My predictions for that this market for AI generated fakes and deep fakes of all kind is going, it's evolving very, very quickly. Right now, as you're going to see in a minute, the tech is not wonderful because we have two things required for deep fakes really. One of them is credible synthesized voices uh, or TTS, text to speech. That's been a tech sector that's been evolving in recent years. It's getting very good, but it's not quite there yet. It always sounds a bit robotic. And then the more recent development or the more recent tech we're seeing is websites like the one I'm going to show you that Duffy told me about. It's called movio.la. And again, you can see the mouth, the mouth movements look a little bit artificial, but it's pretty good and it's kind of freaky. So I thought in this video, I would uh, show you guys uh, how this web, give you a little inside look. Now there's another website that I've been following. This is movio.la and they've got a few templates, but you can also create something completely from scratch. Another website that I've that's been on my radar for a long, a long time now is called This Person Does Not Exist. There's actually a website called This X Does Not Exist and the link to various projects. It's something using an algorithm, I believe it's called GAN from um, NVIDIA. And you can read about how the algorithm works here or you can just get fake faces. Now I'm gonna hit the refresh image button and we're going to. So what I think is really fascinating about this, uh, this whole world of deep fakes, it's not any of these one tools by themselves. It's the fact that when you put these ingredients together, we're gonna to get a fake face that looks like a real person. Then we're gonna take that fake person and make it into a deep fake video. And we're gonna create a video of a person that never existed, right? So it's when you start combining stuff that, get, that it gets pretty wild. I'm going to just wait until I can uh, get a little bit better. They say the best type of face uh, for this uh, project um, for movio.la is a face that isn't smiling, almost like a passport photo. So I'm gonna just keep hitting refresh until I get a pretty neutral um, adult face. And then I'm going to make a video from it with a backdrop of let's say the Western Wall in Jerusalem, because it's where I live. You know what, this guy is pretty decent. I'm gonna take him and uh, then let's see what kind of a video we can make from this. Okay, so I've gone ahead now and I'm downloaded my fake face from the internet. I'm gonna call this guy Dave. Now, something that would be very cool if they added this feature was, I'm just gonna use this as is, but if you have someone with a background, you can just do this kind of manual cropping I'm doing now in GIMP and then put them on a transparent background and that will allow you uh, to get an even more realistic deep fake video. For now, I'm just gonna play with Dave's Dave's fake itself and uh, see how this works. Okay, so I've done, gone ahead now and done a pretty crude job at cutting out my fake Dave from the AI generated background. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this as uh, transparent so you guys can see how well it handles transparency. At least it's gonna give the avatar a background to stand against instead of uh, the background that comes with the generator and let's go ahead and plug that in. So I'm loading up a uh, movio here and uh, you get options to create landscape 
or uh, portrait based uh, videos and I've gone for landscapes. So you can also upload uh, your own backdrops. I'm gonna go ahead now and uh, put in a custom backdrop. So I just took a random scenic backdrop out of Google Images and I went for one that was uh, licensed appropriately under the Creative Commons. So that's gonna be my backdrop. And you can also add different elements here and textual elements uh, into the video. For instance, if I want to add overlays for WhatsApp at certain frames of the video, or uh, background music, I can also do that. But let's just keep it simple for this example. That's the background I'm gonna be using. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in uh, my fake avatar. Okay, so I'm uploading Dave into my avatar library. Now, as you can see, Dave has just uploaded there, as well as the ones that I can upload of myself or of my friends, there are different avatars. Now, they do give you a bit of guidance in terms of um, how you should do this, and I'm gonna call that up in a second. But for now, let's just take Dave. Now, as you can see, in terms of the transparency, let me just, just jump back to GIMP so you can see what I did. You can see I did a bit of a scrappy job here. This is actually kind of a bit of his hair um, against the background and other, uh, I guess, clop, crops of his hair. Um, but it's still got this kind of white background showing there, which to me kind of detracts from how credible it looks. And it's obviously not a head, head and shoulders uh, one, it, one either. But anyway, that's kind of decent enough for the purpose of demonstration. And what you can go ahead and do here is create a script and then you can pick between your uh, fake AI generated voices, right? So I'm gonna write a little script here. I'm gonna say, hi, this is Dave. I'm not a real person. I never, whoops, I never was a real person. Instead, I'm an, I'm an artificial intelligence generated face that has been superimposed on a real background. The purpose of this video is to see whether my face and background looks credible enough for your average viewer to believe that I am in fact real. Now something I like about the script writer on this is that you can choose to manually add in uh, five second pauses and you can also change the speed. There is a 60 second speed limit um, on how um, you know on how long it can run for and you can choose between your different voices so clearly this Dave is a man so I'm gonna go for a fairly neutral voice it's not the most amazing um, AI voice I've ever heard but for the purpose of this test it should be decent and I really like this uh, deep fake creator I guess that's not really what it's called this AI video based creator because it's really an intuitive user interface as well as choosing your different elements you can choose to put on subtitles so I can choose to have my subtitles here I'm going to move my fake talking head a little bit out of the way and uh, now I'm going to just go ahead and click on submit and this is then going to go into the rendering queue now in order to get um, the watermark out you do need to pay for the service for this demo I'm just going to show you what it looks like with some watermark inside of it and as you can see, it's now rendering. So it, this is a kind of graphical rendering process that happens in the cloud. Presumably it's quite uh, compute intensive. As you can see, we're only at 5% uh, after you know 10 or 20 seconds. So it's gonna take a few minutes to develop your, uh, your deepfake avatar. avatar. Um, but uh, we're gonna see the output in a second. Now, one last thing I wanted to say really about what's scary about this technology to me. So as my friend Peter Duffy remarked, the credibility of the deep fakes that are being created now with this they're not amazing i don't think anyone's really going to be tricked but we can expect this whole market to advance very quickly now there's not really such a concern about you know deep fakes your friends being able to deep fake you maybe there is in the sense of pranks i think what's very scary about this technology is the potential for hackers or you know social engineers to create deep fakes of world leaders or presidents or celebrities and create fake accounts and put those two elements together. So again, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not encouraging by any means anyone to use this tech for malicious purposes. The white hat approach would be, well, if you want a business and, you, and if you have a business and you want to make a simple what's called talking head video where you just have a person talking to camera, kind of like what I'm doing, instead of hiring a real actor and giving them a script, you could use one of these avatars. So Dave is rendering here, and while that's going on, I'm just gonna actually create a, a second video. And something I like about this is that you can render uh, simultaneously. So let's take a video of uh, this guy. He's pretty you know, corporate looking, so this might be, I guess, good for one of those 
uh, corporate videos. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in a background from Pexels of an office setting. And we'll see if we can create a uh, perhaps more credible looking fake uh, talking head video than we did in our, in our last one. Okay, so just in order to try challenge uh, Movio LA's technology with something that wasn't in their default stock library, I went on to Google Images in the end and I searched for uh, Tel Aviv. So this is going to be a little background to Tel Aviv. Now again, something I really like about this uh, system is that it's really intuitive. So if you've used any kind of image editor, whether it's GIMP or Photoshop or something like that, you're probably very familiar with working with layers. So what I'm going to do now is bring my uh, fake speaking person or we'll call, let's call him Dave2 up to the front. Now, as you can see, I've chosen is probably not the best background because he's in a black suit and it's all, it's quite a dark background. So the contrast isn't amazing. I'm going to pop him down in the bottom right corner so he doesn't look totally out of place. It almost looks like a kind of one of those virtual green screen screenshots, except of course that our avatar isn't real. So I'm going to give him another script to say, I'm going to say, hi, this is Dave two. And this is the second proof of concept for what are known as deep fake videos that uh, Daniel has created for his YouTube channel. And again, the pauses, the, the kind of limitations of the um, avatar speaking are going to be that, you know, sometimes if you use foreign words like Tel Aviv is a word in Hebrew, right? So let's see how well it handles Aviv. I'm here today in Tel Aviv and it's not as hot as it was during the day. Thankfully, you should totally subscribe to Daniel's uh, YouTube channel which has just passed 800 subscribers subscribers he loves sharing cool new technology with his friends and those interested now something that's also pretty cool um, about the voice you can use to go along with your avatar is that as you can see here on the left panel there are options for different language different different languages if i click into hebrew for instance we have avril Now, I know the audio is coming through my speakers, not through the microphone, so I hope that was audible, but it's text-to-speech Hebrew, and I have to say, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's either better or worse than the English versions, right? There's one option in Hebrew versus many in English. It does sound a bit robotic, but it doesn't. It definitely sounds quite understandable. So I'm going to just go for a pretty neutral male voice. We're going to go with Matthew, which is one of the US voices. I've written, I have 150, 84 characters, so there's a lot of room to work with here. And again, you get a little timeline for, so for those who are used to video editing, I uh, can add little features, you can add elements and you can add text at certain points. But just to keep it simple, let's go for a talking, he talking head video. Dave's going to give his little speech in front of virtual Tel Aviv. And I'm going to add that now into my rendering queue. So the good news is that while my second video is rendering, my first one's already ready. So I can download here with a watermark for free. Something quite cool is it also gives you a URL to share. So I can click on this share link and uh, share this on my Facebook, or you can download the MP4. And of course, the good thing about downloading the video um, is that you can then edit it in a video editing program. What I did um, using Caden Live, which is a video editor for Linux, is I reduced the speed to 80% with pitch compensation. And I think it came across a little better. I would say that these tend to be a bit fast. So my first uh, avatar video is ready. My second one is in queue. I'm going to go ahead now and pause the video and uh, le then let you guys see how the output looked like. I'd be very interested in hearing your thoughts on uh, this um avatar or deep fake technology coming from movio.la if you've seen better technology for this kind of thing that you like please let me know in the comments if you have thoughts about what the advent and rapid advancement and sophistication of this technology is going to mean for both white hat marketing uses and black hat uses for disinformation misinformation and all other kinds of mischief that can be achieved when you can take fake people or real people and make fake videos out of them and share them with the world as if it was something really done by that person. If you have thoughts on what all this is going to mean for the future of the internet, for the future of society and the sharing of information, please let me know in the comments too, because this is something I've really been thinking about. And I, I must admit, I'm a little worried about it. Um, because this technology is definitely rapidly coming to a point of good maturity. And I expect in the next couple of years, the synthesized voices will be a lot better. 
these uh, the fake speaking technology will be a lot better. So what's kind of um, proof of concept and leading edge today is going to become relatively mature tech, I imagine a lot sooner than any of us imagine. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I'll leave you with my uh, videos of the uh, deep fake, so stick around until the end. If you wanna get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Hi, this is Dave. I'm not a real person. I never was a real person. Instead, I'm an artificial intelligence generated face that has been superimposed on a real background. The purpose of this video is to see whether my face and background looks credible enough for your average viewer to believe that I am, in fact. Hi, this is Dave too. And this is the second proof of concept for what are known as deep fake videos that Daniel has created for his YouTube channel. I'm here today in Tel Aviv and it's not as hot as it was during the day, thankfully. You should totally subscribe to Daniel's YouTube channel which has just passed 800 subscribers. He loves sharing cool new technology with his friends and those interested.